Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. As you can see, we're no longer in the Bahamas. It's been a couple of months since we picked up our camera and today we're gonna to tell you guys exactly what happened to us and why we're here in South Carolina visiting my folks. Before we get into what actually happened and why we jumped off YouTube for a while, I want to thank everybody that reached out with concern and with your support. We did not get all of your messages in real time, but when we did get them, we just we felt so supported and so loved. So thank you so much for reaching out and checking in on us. We really appreciate it. And we're happy to be back to fill you in. So I go up to Pepe's office and what do I find out, man? What do I find out? There is no Pepe Sylvia. The man does not exist. Before I get into what actually happened, I feel like we need to go through some of y'all's theories because there were some good ones out there. One popular theory that everyone had was that we broke our computer again and we were not able to upload to YouTube anymore. I totally get why you guys might think that. We did one time fall into the ocean with our computers in our backpacks. Having said that, uh, that is not the reason. We did have a computer break, but we had a backup, so we could have uploaded to YouTube if we wanted to. Another theory was that we got tired of sailing and sold the boat. Uh, no, that did not happen. We still own our boat and we still love her very much. In fact, she is at Just Cats with Laurent right now getting a ton of work done and upgrades, uh, which we will go to into in a later video. So if we didn't sell the boat, some of you thought that maybe we sunk the boat. We did not. Fortunately, there were no insurance claims on Leviosa this year. Moving into more personal matters that Charles and Charles and I <laughs> and moving into more personal matters that Jess and I ended up getting a divorce. Whew. Gosh, it's harsh. Yeah, savage. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. Always. We are still married and not divorced. Perhaps the most out there theory was that I actually killed Jess. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> so what actually happened is not anywhere near as exciting as any of that. What actually happened was that we just got busy. Uh, right around the time that we stopped doing YouTube, my company started uh, really taking off and my workload as a result of it went way up, which made it really difficult to find time to film. And that really put a constraint on our schedule to where we could only film early morning, late evenings or on the weekends. Um, and that just be became really difficult to keep up with. Uh, most YouTubers get around this potential problem of the ebb and flow of your everyday life by having a bank of videos to pull from, and they're generally about a month ahead of, of real world time. At the time, we were filming, editing, and releasing all within the same week, and so with that super compressed timeline, we really struggled to keep up with it, and ultimately with my work, becoming uh, more demanding and also a few things going wrong with the boat that caused just general life to be a little bit more demanding. Something had to give and that thing was YouTube. And I feel like we need to be honest with y'all and mention one more reason why we took a break. And that is the fact that putting our lives out there on social media really drug us out of our comfort zone. Neither of us have really done much on social media in the past. Our private Instagram accounts have a couple hundred followers combined. So it's just not something that we've really ever done before, but we decided to start making videos for our friends and family to be able to follow along. We never expected all of you guys to join and we're so happy you're here, but it really did force us out of our comfort zone when we started getting recognized as we were doing things like walking the dogs, going grocery shopping, living our daily lives. It just wasn't something that we were expecting and definitely not something that we're used to both very shy people and we have a hard time making instant connections when uh, we meet people in general. And that's when we're planning on going out. Never mind when it's just somebody new coming up to you in a situation where you were kind of like lost in your own head or your own thoughts. So it took us a while to get accustomed to all the goods and some of the negatives that come along with 
putting yourself out there on social media. So we decided to take some time and really evaluate whether or not we wanted to continue to put ourselves out there in this way and continue with YouTube. And since we're here, I guess that means we decided that we do. And that's because everybody that we met that came up to us was so incredible. Now, we felt really uncomfortable and awkward because we're really shy people. So if you notice that, sorry. <laughs> But everybody was amazing. And as a matter of fact, we got some of the best travel tips and tricks and destinations from those of you that did stop by and talk to us. And so we really appreciate you guys coming to say hello and sharing your experiences with us. Um, and again, sorry if it was a bit awkward. <laughs> At the end of the day, all your all's kindness is the reason that we decided that this was going to be worth it, even if it is a little uncomfortable sometimes to put your life out there. So to fully catch you guys up, we stayed in the Bahamas until the early May. We uh, spent some time in Nassau, in Eleuthera, and in the Berries. We sailed from the Berries back to Fort Lauderdale, dropped the boat off with Laurent at Just Cats. And then for the past month or so, we have been uh, touring the East Coast, visiting friends and family, and we are just a couple of days from heading back down to Fort Lauderdale and getting our boat back. Yes, so exciting. We can't wait to see all the updates that Laurent and the crew at Just Cats did. So we will be sure to share those with you in a future episode, I promise. In the meantime, thanks for catching up with us. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. We promise not to leave you alone again. <laughs> If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it and it helps us out so much. And any questions or comments, happy to answer them in the comments below. Thanks guys. See you soon. Uh, yeah, that's, that's it, it, right? That's it. Yeah. yeah, we're done. Nothing else. We're done. I stiff armed. I stiff armed. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Gosh. No. Oh man. Yeah.